in this video I'll show you how to solve a 3x3 three three Rubik's Cube. First thing you should do is mix up your 3x3 three three Rubik's Cube. Now that you've mixed up your cube, I want to tell you a little about the pieces themselves. So what's important to know is I hope by now you've watched my 2x2 two two video because I'll tell you about how to solve the first layer. Um, we're basically going to do the same thing. Um, but first we need to know about the pieces. So if you saw a 2x2, two two, you'll know there are only corner pieces. However, on a 3x3, three three, there are also cut center pieces and edge pieces. And that makes it a little harder, but um, also gives you more to work with. Okay, so now we're going to solve the first layer. I'm only gonna show you how to solve the white cross, which is this. Um, and what's important, because I that's not something you learn from solving a two by two, because there are no edge pieces. Um, and what's important to know is also that not only are the white pieces gonna have to be there, they also have to match up. So this is actually already in the right spot. See how it's white and orange? We basically want that, but for all the pieces. All right, so I'm gonna flip mine over and I'm gonna look for an edge piece, a white edge piece. And here is one, okay. It is green and um, white, sorry, yeah, it's white. Um, and since it's already lined up, I'm gonna bring it around, okay. And if it was here, I would still bring it around. You always wanna line it up where it's supposed to go and then bring it up. You might see there's another um, corner piece here that doesn't match. That's okay. Um, we're going to fix that in a little bit. Okay. So now that you've got that, we're going to keep looking for our other pieces. And, ah, here's one. Um, and as I said, now if I bring it up, that doesn't match there. So what we're going to have to do is we're actually going to bring it down and over. And basically what I did there was I just brought it down and over um, because that was, it's like a different way to move it over rather than um, moving this, okay? And now I can just bring it right up. And I'm going to do the same, so now I would, I was going to say use the same thing, but um, you can't bring it up because now this is, although it's in the right spot, it's not oriented right. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to bring it up and I'm going to bring this over and over. And I know I did that really fast. That might have been hard to like keep up with, but basically what I did was I brought it um, from here to here, moved it out of the way, brought it down, and back over. And some people find this really hard. I mean, it's just like the way you like see things. And um, it doesn't mean like you're not good at Rubik's Cubes or anything. It's just the way you see things differently. So it might be harder, it might not be. Um, but you can get, once you do it over time, um, you, you'll get better at it. All right, so now we have to get the corners of the white side. And I have one right here. So I'm going to do this algorithm so we get it up into the bottom layer. Go down. And remember, we're gonna bring the bottom twice because otherwise it'll get stuck here. We don't want that. Okay, I know that was a little hard to like get what I was doing, but I, I brought it from here. I brought this down, so it was in this piece, and then I moved it over here. All right, now I'm going to put this where it's supposed to go. This is right under where it needs to go because this is orange, green. And I'm going to do this algorithm. Okay. And I'm going to do that again with this piece, moving where it needs to go, and do the same thing. Okay. And this last piece, I'm going to do that same algorithm I did earlier. I'm going to bring this up. Okay. And those algorithms I did, I was basically getting it from here, up, over, down, over. So that the piece would get out of the way and I wouldn't, you know, um, get it all mixed up. Okay, so I hope by now you have also solved the white side and we will now be moving on to the middle layer. Now what I want you to do is, as I've already done, put the white side on the bottom. And we're going to be looking at the yellow face. Okay, all right. Now we need to look at pieces on the yellow side that don't go, which means they're not yellow. And I see this green one. This is green and red, therefore it's not yellow. So I'm going to bring this to red so this matches up. And I see that this is green, which means this needs to go here. So I'm going to do this algorithm. And you might have the same thing, but on this side, in that case, just do it opposite. So like move it this way rather than this way. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, and there we go. I put that piece in. And as I said before, I didn't really explain it very clearly, but you might have to do it in opposite directions. So here will be a better way to explain it. So rather than moving this piece here, I'm going to be moving this piece here. So I'm going to move it away. I always move it away when I want it to go. And then... All right, and then we have this piece here. Okay, again, we're gonna line it up. This piece needs to go here, so we move it away. And I forgot to mention, you always wanna rotate your cube, and I'm sorry if you got confused by that, but you wanna move it from here to rotate it. Okay, and now there's one last piece. Remember, I always move it away, and then, and sorry about before, but you rotate it, remember? And there we go. And another I went, I know I went through that really quickly. Um, slow down if you need. But I just, I can't spend too much time working on that. Um, but what I did is I found the pieces here, lined them up where they needed to go, and moved through the algorithms to get them either here or here. And it's basically like parallel. You can think of it that way. Like, you're doing the same moves but with a different hand. So I would practice those moves with one hand and then with the other hand. Um, because you will have to do them with both. Okay, now let's move on to the now last on to layer. The last layer, I want you to look at the yellow face. And you're gonna have many different scenarios. You might have an L, like I do, in which case you want it here. You might have a bar, then you want it here. And you might have a cross here. And um, if you have the cross, just leave it, and we'll do this algorithm. And you might notice that you might be like, well, um, I don't have an L, I also have this. And you might have other corner pieces, but for this, the only pieces that are important is the center and edge pieces. Those are the only important pieces. Okay, now we're going to do this algorithm. And watch closely, I'm gonna do it slowly so you can like keep up with it. Um, just be very careful about where you're positioning pieces. Okay. Okay, and you're gonna see I got to this part, so I'm going to do it again and reposition your pieces where that you need them to be. And now I have a bar, so I'm just gonna leave it here because this is where I'm supposed to go, and I'm going to do it again. And if you have the cross, um, stop because that's our goal to get to the cross. Okay, and now we have solved the yellow cross. You might have noticed like there's a bunch of patterns and as you solve the cube more, you'll notice that there are like a bunch of different patterns you go through as you're um, solving it. But with that in mind, let's keep moving. Okay, now we are on to the yellow side and you're gonna notice that you have the cross, but you might also have extra pieces. And people call this like a fish. And I don't really get how it's a fish. I mean, I kind of do like, this is the face and then these are the flippers. Um, so you basically want the face paint pointed downward or the face, I don't know. Um, and you might just have the cross, in which case you want a yellow piece to be like that. But since we don't have that, we have the fish, we want this piece in the bottom. And then we're going to do this algorithm. And my yellow side is solved. However, you might have to do that algorithm a couple more times before um, you get the yellow side. Again, sometimes you have to like do algorithms over and over before you get them, but eventually you will. Okay. All right, now we're going to get to solving the very last layer of the Rubik's Cube. So we're gonna look around. You're gonna wait, you're gonna look around until you find pieces like this, like two of the same color, then one like this. Then you're going to do this algorithm, okay? The other sides are gonna be all different and messed up, but that's okay, don't worry about them. You're gonna do this algorithm. Right. Okay, and now we have this here, and you might have a, like you're gonna see they're all around like that, and you might have like a bar in the back just put that towards the back. And now we're going to do this last algorithm that will solve the entire cube.
and congratulations with your solved a Rubik's Cube. Thank you for watching, and I hope this video has helped. See you next time. Bye!